so sister. See, I let me take care of you while you are here in Nigeria. Hmm? What's the point you need to do when I'm comfortable with okay? Sandra, you have your husband and business to take care of, so I wouldn't want to be a burden to you or anyone else, please. You can never be a burden to me. Blood is thicker than water, you know. I don't know, but if you insist. I insist, kid sister. See, I've even beefed up the house here and there. So it's even more, more comfortable than most of the best hotels you can get in town. Really? Yes, really. So come, let me take care of you. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Where are you up to? Mama, we forgot I'm going with you and Auntie Rose to the airport to pick Auntie. And who told you I'm going to the airport to pick your aunt? Auntie Rose told me. Rose told you. Mom, please let me go with you and Auntie Rose. Ah. Okay, um, I'm not going to the airport to pick your aunt, eh? Rose is. Okay, let me go with her then. No. Mom, please. Listen, Louisa, if you don't have anything better to do, you get to your room. I've made myself clear. Yes, Mom. Rose told her. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so good to be home. <laughs> oh Rose, I know, I know, I know. US is so fine. But let me tell you one thing. Nigeria is a unique country of its own. No doubt. It's beautiful, it's like heaven. But there is no other country that can be compared to this one. Hell no. <laughs> well, if you say so. Of but course. I have my reservations about this country. Please, like what? <laughs> Don't let me mention it. <laughs> Let's be <it> preserved. <laughs> I really want to mention. What the hell? I'm sure this is the right route. We've been here for a while, and nothing is happening. I'm tired of sitting in this car. Relax. Look at the time now. I said relax. What's wrong with that car? That driver seems to be crazy. How can he be driving like that? I don't know. Looks like it. Or he might have lost his bearing. <sighs> relax, relax, relax. Okay. See, we must not fail. I'm sure you know what the boss said. Why are you stopping? <coughs> Madam. Yes. I just want to check something. Wrong with the cow. I serviced it yesterday. Really? Huh. Wow. No, I don't know. The 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 the, the, the car's got problems. Huh? What do we do? Ooh. You know what, right? Um, I I, I think I, let me just um ease myself. I've been so pressed ever since I landed. Yeah. I'll be right back, driver. No go foul. I know yes. my way around, no worry.
I saw two ladies in the car. You mean there were two ladies in that car? Ah, oh, see, I saw two ladies in the car. Are you sure you blocked the wrong person? Fast the car. Remember the boss warned us. You see? Fast the car. What? Do it now. But if the police are here already. I said do it now. You see, you are always like this. You are always like this. I said now! Poor blind woman? Yes. And you know the same woman that stepped out from that car now? Hey, which car? Me? No. Oh, who that she won't give banana? No, oh, I'm just a poor blind woman looking for my daily bread or with my leg in his best. Please, I don't have any car. Please, I beg you. Please. Jose, let's go. Let's go. No mind. This is the woman you are looking for. Take a proper look. You see, this is a poor blind woman for crying out loud. Look at her now. I said no. She is the woman we are looking for. Jose. Oh. This woman is blind. Come on, let's go. I said no. You must go. Now, what to kill her? Here. And now. Jose. Just listen to yourself. Kill an innocent poor blind woman for nothing. Yes. Was it? If you must kill this woman, then you have to kill me first. Hey, Manis! Don't kill me. And if I do, don't push me. I've been here by now. I don't know what's keeping them. My life, my dear, will come. Um, is that what you're agitated about? Um, I'm confused about the whole thing. I suggested going with them. You said no. So why are you? Why are you? Why are you worried? It's okay. Maybe I'm just worried about. Just relax your mind, please. Yes, this is Miss Barry. Yes. Oh my God! Where? When? Please, what hospital is that? Okay, okay, okay. I'll be right there. What's the matter? There's been an attack. Where? I don't know. The, the doctor just called me now that they've been rushed to the hospital. Oh my God. Meet me outside, please. Oh yes, madam. I just wanted to know if you've confirmed the bodies yet. Yes, I've confirmed the bodies. I'll be going to see you later. Alright, cool. That's fine. I, I'll see you soon then. Please, I beg you! I beg 
me do anything you want us to do. Let's have it. Let's have it. to kill us. God just saved our lives once again. So what are we going to do? I don't know. But I'm sure you understood all that I told you. Yes. Our survival depends on a large extent on how well we're able to convince these people that I am who they think that I am. Hmm? Okay. So I should keep on telling you that I've been helping you for past two years now. Of course. And please stick to that. Hmm? Okay. I'm so scared. Don't worry. God is with us. Nancy. Hey, huh? look. Nancy, you're having your voice going from the bedroom. What's up? Nothing. Nancy, you're crying. So what's up? No. <laughs> I'm fine. No. 
blind woman. What were you doing on the street over that time of day? I was just making my help. Oh. I was just making my help. Please. Please. Joshua. My mother. Joshua. 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 Are you going to talk now? Are you going to talk now? If you don't talk, we'll kill you again. Please. Are you ready to speak now? Yes. No. Suspect. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You're just assuming, right? I am not assuming, boss. I'm sure of what I'm saying. What proof do you have? What? Look, I'm not a proof now. But I, I, I... Then let her go! Let the woman go! Because right now I cannot have the blood of a blind woman over my head. I can't! I'll say, boss. See... But even if she was uh, innocent, she's guilty now. I mean, she has heard everything we discussed in uh, in her presence, and it's too dangerous. Oh, you two should have thought about that before you brought into my place. You incompetent fools! Now get out! Get out! Get out! to appeal to you to please and please don't let that woman go I mean I have this feelings that that woman will oppose a problem between us and I suggest we kill her Moselle boss you are my oldest man in this organization and as such you should know me well by now let me ask you a question. Have I ever resigned my decisions before? But boss, this is different. There is nothing different to a principled man. That woman goes home. And that is my final decision. Guys, the boss is still adamant. I mean, he's still stuck there with his gun. But I told you the boss won't budge. 
He won't agree. Mose, I told you, didn't I? Yeah, you did, but what I don't understand is the reason why the boss went on allowing them go. Well, uh, he certainly has his reasons. I think so. Yeah, that's true. Oh, if you ask me, that's a stupid reason. Listen, I think the boss is going cold. Mind your language, Mosey. The walls have ears. Manis, oh Manis. Listen to me. If the boss eventually allowed them go, I mean, allowed them go, they will bring him down. And when that happens, I'm sure you know what happens to all of us. We are all in trouble. Big trouble. Now listen guys. See, we need to do something. We need to do something. I mean, do it fast. As fast as we can. But I think Moses is right, okay? I think he's right. I think so, we need to ask fast. So what do we do? What do you have in mind? See guys, I've read stories. I've seen things happen. I've watched movies. Yes. See. We all, this is guys, this is not funny matter. You've watched I'm, movies. This is serious. I'm, I'm not joking here. Listen. We need to eliminate them. I mean to secure our source of livelihood. If you don't, you know what that, what that means. Of course, see, that's the only option we have now. So you're saying we eliminate them? That's the last game we have to play. Alright then. Pull the heat. We eliminate them, okay? Just to make your stupid head happy. Deal. Yes. So tell me, were you able to find out anything from her? Oh boss, um, I think the woman is trying to be smart with her words. She's being very careful. But the girl though, she looks innocent to me. The girl, she looks innocent. Innocent? So what do you suggest? I think we should intensify our torture on this woman. Let's double the punishment if we are to get any information from this woman. That is, if there is any other thing she's hiding. You're right, you know. You're so right. Who's that? What do you want? Come. Come, come and join me. I think I'll take my leave now, boss. Okay, alright then. Um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, I'll be serving in 10 minutes. Alright, cool. So tell me. What did you find out? Boss, for all my investigation, nobody seems to know any blind woman staying around there. I thought as much. So tell me, have you been able to satisfy your curiosity? Yes. But we need to play savior, boss. Listen, I was paid to assassinate a woman from the United States. The woman you're holding hostage is an innocent woman that has nothing to do with her. I don't want any more blood in my hand like I already have already. Okay? Boss, you are a cold-blooded killer. One more life means nothing to you. Let's eliminate this woman and place safe here, boss. Listen, I might be a cold-blooded killer. I'm also a professional. I don't kill for fun. I kill for money. So tell me, are you willing to pay me to assassinate her? Boss, this woman will eventually bring about your downfall. Think about your reputations. 
think about your investment and achievements all over the town? Will you allow ordinary poor blind woman to bring about your downfall, boss? No. No. I'm a man of my words. No. No. I am a man of my words. I told her she would not die. But I will ensure she's everything she says she is. That's for sure. Come on, join me. the fact that she's wearing the same cloth she just came here. Boss? Yes. But boss, I thought you said they would be going home today. I changed my mind. She'll be here until I'm done with my investigations. Do you hear the problem with that? No boss. It's just not that old. Anita! Yes, boss. Come here. Go on, get a blind lady.
It's palatable, cook. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I enjoyed it too. Oh, I'm so happy you did, small madam. Okay, I shall take my leave now. It's all right. Sorry, madam. For how long have you been in this condition? Well, it's been long. Ever since my husband died many years ago. Why do you ask? Um, nothing. Um, it's just that I, I just want to know. Because I have a doctor who might be willing to treat you. Treat me? I don't understand. Anyway, never mind. Um, just that I feel for you. It's okay then. Um, good night. Okay. Good, good night. Good night. Here is your drink. Here. Thank you. Auntie, what are you thinking? I'm worried. The silence. What silence? The gang's silence. I don't know what they are up to. Well, apart from this island, they'll be treating us fine. Good food, good drink, good accommodation, good sleep on a good bed like this. I've not had it this good in all my life. I wish we shall continue to stay here forever. Stay away from my wicked or this wife. These are the worst people to mingle with. It is very dangerous because you don't know what can happen. Anything can happen anytime. Yes. It's like sitting on a keg of gunpowder that can explode anytime without warning. We have to be careful. Don't know about you. Apart from the touch on you, they have been treating us fine. This place is far, far better than we are running away from. Tell me. How bad and wicked is your uncle and wife? They are the worst species of woman being I ever seen. Really? I don't want to think about them. They unite me to remember. But the cook's question, I don't like it. How? Never mind. Mr. Phillips, I don't understand what you mean by that. You don't understand that my wife came to Nigeria and you insisted on taking her to your house, even against her wishes, only for you to call me and say she was assassinated. By who, if I may ask? What did she do? Listen. You have an explanation for me once I come to Nigeria. Else. Else what? Else what, Mr. Phillips? Are you in any way threatening me? I wish it was a threat, but it's not a threat. It's a promise. You shall have me to contend with. Goodbye. Hey, don't hang up. Hey, Mr. Phillips, wait. Don't hang up. Hello, Mr. Phillips, or whatever it is you call it. Hello? Oh, shit. This guy hung up, Sha. Can you imagine? What nonsense. Tell me what is it? Can you imagine Mr. Phillips threatening me? Uh, that's expected. What? Do you expect a man whose wife was killed under a mysterious circumstance to be happy with you? And what does that mean? Sandra, I remember when you were calling his wife, telling her to come and stay with you. You offered to send the car that would pick her from the airport. She refused, but you insisted. You know what? Go ahead and say it. 
Go ahead and say I assassinated my own sister, so say it. Sandra, we have two corpses in our hands. We're the driver making them three. Pull yourself together so that we can give these people a befitting burial. And it's not what you're shouting at me. Eh? Sandra, thanks are wagging. Thanks are wagging. Excuse me. Are you working out on me? Honey? Lisa? How are you? And where is your mommy? She's not back. What? She's not back. She's not back. Okay. So what are you doing? I'm playing a game. No, go to bed. Go to bed. Don't worry, baby. And what do you say? Good night, Alright, good night, darling. And where do you think you are coming from? Excuse me? Where do you think you are coming from by this time of the night? I went to see a friend. You went to see a friend? Mm -hmm. Sandra, listen to yourself. You went to see a friend. Yeah. People have been coming here on condolence visits to your sister's bed every day. You are nowhere to be seen. What's your problem? Can't you stay at home among your dead? So, I shouldn't go about my regular business because I have to sit at home among the dead? Please excuse me, I have better things to do. I am surprised at you. Whatever. <laughs> but that's good news, you know. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> really? Okay, that's uh, that's fine, you know, because. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad, is it? Oh, okay. I'm honored, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, okay. Okay, just keep it posted, okay? <laughs> Yeah, boss. I have delivered your message to the commissioner. Good. Very good. Mugzio. Boss. I will let the blind woman go tomorrow. But you will drop her off. And guess what? I have detailed my men to monitor you. If anything goes wrong with her, you have me to contend with. Listen, my dear, you have to find out the name of this area from the cook or the guards. We have to know where we are to start with. And today, my staff suspecting us. Okay, that's the more reason why you should be careful. You just make it look as if it's a casual discussion so that she doesn't suspect anything. And as you do that, look for a picture of someone that looks like me. Someone that looks like you. Yes. Why? Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll explain later. Hmm? But as you move around, be very careful. You know if you're caught, we are dead. Auntie, please. Let's stay here. There's no need trying to run away. In your condition, you need a place like this. And for me, I'm not going back to that my uncle's house. Don't worry, everything will be fine. You won't understand. I don't think so. I don't think so. I like it. These people are criminals, don't you see? Yes, follow me, follow me. Follow me, come on. Come in, come in. Come in now, come in now. Please. 
This is your room. It's your daughter. The manager is there for a long time. Mm -hmm. They don't mind that is the boss quarters. Eh? Don't worry, I'll shampoo with the air conditioner and then the television. Make sure that it's comfortable for you. Eh? You see, it's my responsibility to take care of you and your daughter. Um, one more thing. I shall help to finish that house. My brother, it was my common finish. I'll complete it to test, paint it, and then put all the necessary facilities and remove it. And uh, also set up a business for you so that you'll be busy. Mm -hmm. Because I know my late brother would have done the same, assuming the reverse was the case. <laughs> Thank you, my husband's brother. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
were just so passing through the orchard and found out that the plantain had planned to do something with somebody had caught it. Just say magic. Uh -uh. Eh? Who caught it? I don't know. Who caught, who is the buffoon? The idiot, the witch that caught the plantain. Somebody answer me now. Nine. I am the one that called that plantain. That plantain belongs to my late husband. It belongs to us. And, and who are the us, if I may ask? That plantain <laughs> belongs to my late husband. And I had to harvest it so that I can get some money. Since three days now, we are not eating. Hey, now Lizzie, we are not Lizzie, eating. how can you say the plantain belongs to your late husband? When my husband here is the rightful owner of that plantain. <laughs> Liar. Liar! That plantain belongs to my late husband. How is he now your husband plantain? Look, 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 Eliza, Eliza! I'm brought that of patience. If I close my eyes and open them, and the plantain is not here, in fact, I'll be nasty. Very, very nasty. Yes. Nine. That plantain belongs to my late husband. And besides, I have sold that plantain. You have the infantry? The God to tell me you have sold my own plantain. It's my plantain. If I enter inside and come out and you are still standing with your two legs, <laughs> you know what I'll do. I've sold the plantain. That plantain is my late husband's plantain. And I've sold it. You better go and return the plantain or you bring the money back. This man will never stop disturbing me. Eh? The plantain is, is our own now. You see me trouble. The plantain is my late husband's oh, plantain. Sure it's, our it's our plantain. It's our plantain. Don't, don't mind your... Elisa. Elisa. Why do, don't you want to enter my, my room? Eh? Listen. I have always told you since the way to my bedroom you refuse to come. Now, I own you. Own whatever you have. Own your daughter. Own everybody. Own everything you have. I am chief. Whatever I say must hold. If Mohammed refuses to come to the mountain, the mountain will come to Mohammed. Now that thing you have got this script up on me, I will do it now. <laughs> I will do it now. Ah, I have told you several times that I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. That, that one is your own. Thing. I have told you I don't want to do it. It's a whole headache. I am a fool man. The problem belongs to me. Even if you shout till the help will force, that is your own. Elisa. 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 Elisa! Elisa! Oh, what? Oh, what? 
She'll go and fetch water. Nee. Finish sweeping this place. Eh? Go inside. Take your cake. Follow her and go and fetch water, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to the market now. And by the time I come back, you fill all the kegs, fetch firewood, and tidy the whole of this compound. You hear me? Okay, ma. Okay, that's why you'll be saying, okay, lazy, lazy fool. Okay, ma. Lazy fool. So it is my husband you want to snatch now, eh? Abi? You did not do anything. You did not do what? I told you. You did not do what? I did not do anything. No husband. I did not for the last time. I did not do anything. 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 <laughs> today, today, today. Everything will end today. Hmm? You see all these brands? I will tell you that it is wrong to seduce somebody else's husband. Hmm? Don't worry. Seducing my husband, Abby? Okay. It will not burn. Which? Yes. Yes. Please, please, please. Auntie, please. Auntie. Are you still there? Auntie, please. And drinking. Drinking. Oh, this thing is very and sweet. Uh, enjoy now. You have forgotten the other one. Shall we go to that one? Why not? Why not? Look at this girl. She's faking. Is she not a witch? Go. Brother, what is happening? Isabella. With organ, organ. Isabella is dying. Nothing is happening to her. Isabella. Isabella. One week. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Isabella. Isabella. I can't go back to that hell. I'd rather die here. I'd rather die here than to go back to that family again. I can't. I can't go back. Dad, there's mine. So how much is involved in this? Well, um, the boss said two million naira, but I doubt it. You know why? This man you see in here is a top politician. And he should not be eliminated anything less than five million naira. Um, so, what are you saying in essence? I confront the boss? Why should we? Why should we confront the boss? Why? 
confront the boss. How? Listen, guys. We don't need to confront the boss. We don't need it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. We can still make our own money if we want. How do we do that? How, was it? Listen, we can take money from those victims. And? And still do our work. Are you saying we should double-cross the boss? Is that what you're saying? That we should go ahead and double-cross the boss? Listen, our listen. boss? Listen, guy. If you ask me, I think Sir Temple has been taking good care. Caribbean. What's your problem? Or are you planning on a double cross? Guys, that is not a double cross. That is not a double cross. Okay? It's not. After all, the victim still dies. Well, that's a double cross. That is a double cross. It's not a double cross. It's not. Okay? Cut me out of this. I am not a party to this. Yeah, this is too, too useless. Who cares? Doesn't make sense. You know what? Success. You can be a maid all your life. Oh, you watch your mouth! And yeah. I don't! Hey. Don't try shit with me! Easy, guys. Easy, tiger. Easy, lion. Come on. It hasn't gotten to this. Sit down. Sit down! Sit, sit down. Listen, guys, okay? We don't have to start quietly like some little babies or something, like some market women. All we should be thinking of is how to get this guy. Not sitting here and quarrel over nothing. Come on, guys, give me a break. What do we do? So, when are we looking at? When do we take him? Listen, I'm looking at next tomorrow. Next tomorrow. You know why? We will use tomorrow to take out our escape. Do you understand? And put other things in place. Then by next tomorrow, we hit it. You know, because we have a whole lot of securities to take care of. So you yes. say we hit next tomorrow? We hit next tomorrow. For real? For real, man. Yeah. Are you sure your intel is correct? Nothing. Are you sure? I told you. I trust you. Next tomorrow is okay, Diana. Yes, I have no choice here. Next tomorrow it is. Isabella, auntie, where did you go to? To help the cook. What? I was feeling bored, so I decided to go help her with the dishes. I was looking for you. Come closer. We cannot stay here forever. You know that, right? Yes. We have to leave here one way or the other. And the earlier you get this into your skull, the better for you. I want us to find a way to gather enough evidence that will nail these people. I don't understand. Look. We have to get enough proof to show that we were kidnapped and about to be killed if we escape. So, you mean we should escape? Of course. We have to escape. But before we do that, we have to gather enough evidence to nail these people once and for all. The security here is too tight. But we have to look for a way out. And I don't have anywhere to go. Don't worry. I will take care of you. Attention. You mean you will take care of me? Don't worry. Don't worry. What are you doing? I'm actually to open the door. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> please, please don't, don't, don't slap her. It's me you want. Just, just take me, please. Don't hurt her. Oh, now you know. Good then. 
then get up and follow me. My boss wants to see you. Now, I mean this minute. Please, I think you did name of God, please. You ask you to speak. Will you shut up? You know what? After her, you are nurse. Hey! What is so real? Just this your leg. These people have touched up baby. Sorry, Auntie. Sorry. What did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? What have I done to deserve all this? Where did I go wrong? Where? God, why? Why me? Why? It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I am a woman in distress for a crime that I did not commit. Where did I go wrong? Do I deserve this, Isabella? Do I? No. It's okay. Sorry. What time is it? It's almost 12 o'clock. Take me outside now. What? Take me to the back of the house now. God of vengeance, look at me, look at my tears, look at my wounds, I stand naked before you today, I have not done anything to earn such suffering and punishment from my sister Sandra, if I have done anything wrong, to earn such ill treatment from her. Deal with me worse things than this. But if I have not done anything to her, and she feels she can treat me this way, oh God, pay her back in her own court. God of vengeance. God of the forsaken. God of the orphan, fight for me with your striking thunder and lightning. Visit her and pay her back in her own coin. Fight for me. I stand before the moon, the stars. And all the elements of the universe bear witness to my nakedness today, to my wounds, to my tears, and fight for me, fight for me. <laughs> There's something I want to tell you. Can I trust you? Yes, Auntie. I have heard your cries and your suffering. I will help you. As soon as we leave this place, I will take you as my own sister and I will take care of you. Auntie. Yes. I am not who you think that I am. That's all I am going to tell you for now. 
but I want you to make up your mind for us to live here in one piece. I don't want anything to happen to you. And you have to be very careful. You've seen the way they've been torturing me day and night. And it's not as if you are safe either. Because as soon as they get tired of me, they would face you too. And I know that is not what you want for yourself. So please, do what I tell you to do and we are safe. Okay? Okay. Ah, Antiku! Yeah. Ah, Small mother, how are you today? Fine, no. Can okay. I'll sit down. Oh, thank you. Can I assist you? <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm almost done. <laughs> no thank you. Okay. No. Mm, I'll take a go. Please, what is the name of this area? This place? Why do you ask? Mm, nothing. Just being curious. Mm. Well, I'd rather you keep your curiosity to yourself. Hmm? The walls have ears. No, I'm, I just want to know. Uh, how can someone be staying in a place that he doesn't even know the name? Okay, what if someone asks me now, what is the name of the place I'm staying? What would I tell the person? Now, listen, Isabella. If you're thinking of escaping from this place, forget it. It's a pipe dream unless you want to die. The whole of this place has security network and my boss is aware of everything that goes on here. He sees everything from his security room. So if you're thinking of leaving, I'm sorry, you better forget it. Okay? I don't mean anything, I just want to know. That's all. I hope so too. And it's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. Nobody is interested in telling me anything. The cook, the gas, even the gate man. And let's just give up this idea of living here. It can't work. It won't work. It's not possible. There must be a way. We can't stay here forever. There must surely be a way out. Uh -huh. Good day, my sister. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, madam. And I hope you're having a nice day. Ah, ah. my dear, it's the same old boring experience for an for a old woman like me, you know. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm used to it. Anyway, I'm actually relieved to hear that. Um, I was actually making a um, melon soup and a bar. I hope you enjoy it. Ooh, wow. That's actually my favorite. All right. Okay, I shall take my leave now. Let me go finish up the cooking. Um, cook. It's like the boss is not in town. I've not heard from him for a couple of days now. Is he okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm being curious. But you know, he's the only one that comes around to keep me company, chats me up, tell me some stories here and there, you know. <laughs> it's just like I'm missing him. Eh? Eh. Anyway, um, never to worry. He's actually not in town at the moment. And we are not allowed to divulge such information. Ah, sorry, eh? Sorry for the bother. I know, I know it's a risk, but at least it paid off. How do you mean? Don't worry, you will see. Don't just worry. <laughs> you shall see. Isabella. Why have you been avoiding me, Isabella? Please, let me go. Answer me first. What do you want from me? I want you, Isabella. And you know it. What? You heard me right. See, let me tell you. 
I will never have anything to do with you. Not in this world. Stop acting like a fool, Isabella. You know I can help you. I don't need your help. You don't need my help. Alright. That means you don't want to live. You want to die. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> well, I, I wish it was. Now the ball is in your court. If you really want to live, have a nice day. I don't know where I would have gone if I hadn't seen you that day. Yeah, God sent to me. God sent? Yes. I hated my fate. My uncle and his wife. I mean, I hated everything in this world. What was in my mind was to commit suicide. Suicide? A small girl like you? What have you seen in this world that would make you think of suicide? How can that kind of thought come into your head? I know that I've not seen much, but the little I've seen is more than enough for me to commit suicide. Please, Isabel, don't you ever let that kind of thought come into your mind again. Oh my God! What is it? See, one of the assassins. Mm-hmm. What about him? He's been asking me out. And what was your response to him? I told him I'm frightening. Never had anything to do with such an evil character. Mm. That's good, but on a second thought, we can actually use him. What? Yes. We can use him. We can use him to get us out of this place. I told you how to go about it. No. Why not? You've been with him for some time now. I've not given him my body. My heart is too far, far, far away from him. I hate him. I hate him as I hate my uncle. I hate all men. Excuse me. I'm really shocked at your phone conversation with the policeman. How could you tell the policeman to stop your two sisters' investigation? And you feel I'm stupid enough not to have a good reason for doing that? And what good reason could make you tell them to stop your investigation? Listen, don't mind those people, eh? They've been saying that thing from day one. Don't mind them. Why don't you just allow them to do their work? My family, you keep quiet! Are you silly? Come on, man, come back here. Talk to you together. Are you stupid? How dare you walk out on me? What? I will do it. I seem not to have a choice here. 
do I? Of course you have a choice. You should keep your woman dignity intact. I don't think to have a choice, but whichever way, you promise to help me and I trust you. You promise to send me to school and make my life better. And that is why I have to do this to make sure I believe you in good. So, how are you sure he would fulfill his own part of the bargain? I will make him do it. Oh girl. Sandra, why? Sandra, why? Why do you want me dead? What have I done to you to deserve all this? What happened to the love and care we once shared as a family? her birthday. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for her life, for adding her additional year to her life. Hmm? And also, to tell her how much I love her. Sweetheart, I want to use this opportunity to tell you, you are treasured. And to use my sweetheart. You've been a blessing to our family. I don't know what I would have done without you in our lives. I love you to the moon and back. Happy birthday. Thank you, sis. I would have loved to sing your birthday song, but I have a terrible voice. So I'm going to step aside for my lovely sister. She has a better voice, so over to you, sis. Before I sing your birthday song for my little sister here, I also want to tell her that um, since the day you came into our life, it's been nothing but bliss. And I love you, love you, love you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shirley. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, Shirley? How old are you now? I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. Kiss, So it's time to cut the birthday cake. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah. So, at the count of three, so let's come together. One, One two, two, three! Happy birthday! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. I don't know. She said she was going out to settle money for her school fees. Oh, okay. From her boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend? Which one? The one that disappointed her. She said she was going to look for that means to get it. What other means? I don't know. And you allowed her go? Uh -uh, sister, what do you want me to do? Look, 
kind of embarrassment is that? When is she back? I don't know. She said she won't be long though. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. before the end of the month, I give her another amount. At least, let her just go to school. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Thank you, sister. Thank you. <laughs> I beg, I'm hungry. What did you cook? I made rice. Okay. But there was not enough money, so I had to buy eggs and put it inside. So you could not even buy fish. You didn't give me money. Rosie. Oh. Are you sure you can be school this evening? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. I can. And sister, mm -hmm. thank you for the money you gave me. Come on, what are sisters mm -hmm. for? <laughs> See, um, the only thing I want from you is for you to face your studies. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm serious. I will. You know this is your final exams. Hmm? Are you promising me that? I promise. I'm not drinking here. <laughs> All right, then. Are you done packing? Just from I'm to zip up and I'm good to go. Okay. I've been feeling feverish for quite some time now. Oh my, have you taken any form of medications? I... Why? You see a doctor? Or better still, take some drugs? Sister, I have something to tell you. Okay. I... I think I'm pregnant. What? I'm sorry. Does he know? John, of course, your boyfriend. John is not the one responsible. Was there someone else? I ran into my friend, an old friend, a couple of days. Jesus Christ, Shelly! How could you act like a common prostitute? Sister, the fact is that John and I have been having issues, and I met someone else. Even at that, that's degrading. Jesus wept. Oh my god, Shelly! I don't want to use the word disappointed, mm -hmm. but I'm extremely disappointed in Shelly. How could she get pregnant for some for, for a guy we don't even know? If you're a boyfriend, I will understand. You know what? I think we should get rid of that pregnancy. Yes, you're right. You're very correct. She has to remove it. Mm -hmm. There's not two ways about it. True. But sister, mm -hmm. remember we're Christians. Oh, so. please spare me. Leave Christianity out of this. Eh, but how do we go about it? Eh, I'll, I'll talk to a doctor. You should tell us what to do. Ah, hope he's not a quack doctor. Trust me now. I bet she's my sister. Mm. Okay, fine. So now, what's the first step? What do we do? See a doctor first. We'll ask him what to do. Probably maybe she wouldn't eat or something, all those things, me I don't know. But we shall see a doctor first. Sister, you know Shelly, you know how Shelly is. You know, you know how she is. We will force her she in any know. which way, we will get her to that hospital. When she I was said finished, my own. No. For someone we don't even know, that's the annoying part. Can you imagine? I'm so pissed. Can you imagine she says she wants to keep it? How? Imagine. Where? In whose house? Hmm. My house? It's not possible. Okay. After everything I've done for her. No, no, she's very, very, oh, no, 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 she annoyed me. What is it again, Shelly? There is nowhere to be seen. 
And who is Jerry? Jerry is the one that told me to You see your life? You see what you have done to yourself? How could you be so reckless? You don't even know this guy from Adam! Sister, we are close friends. See where the closeness has landed you now? It's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Hey, look at me. Stop crying. There's always a solution to every problem, you know that, right? Hmm? Stop crying. So, um, where did you say the guy traveled to? South Africa. For a business trip or what? For a business trip or what? No, that's the sister. I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything about his business. It's like he's into bad business, bad trade. Then let's forget about him and plan your life. Did you tell that guy anything about your pregnancy as is his friend? He's not close to the guy. Oh, okay, good. So, um, the first thing you have to do is get rid of your pregnancy. And, um... Sister. I can't. Why? Because I can't. Sister, I can't. What does there to do? You get rid of your pregnancy, try and reconcile with John, and then you start a wedding preparation. Sister, I don't want to have anything to do with John again, and I can't terminate this pregnancy. Why? Because I can't kill an innocent child. Under this circumstance, my dear, you don't have an option. You're a banker. I know their policy. Sister, mm -hmm. I just finished talking to the um, doctor and he said I should ask her to see him tomorrow okay. without breakfast. Good, good. Who? Settle. You didn't tell her? I just did. So, you two have concluded to terminate the baby in my room without knowing my position first. <laughs> what position are you talking about? You better get rid of that in your tummy ha, and, and get on with your life. And I won't. I don't want to. Excuse me. Come back here. See this game. Can you imagine? It's all well who tries to help so. Sister, you too. <laughs> what is your problem? Sister, please leave me alone. I will do no such thing. Until you tell me how you're going to raise a child out of wedlock. This has never happened in a Benson's family before and it's not going to start with you. I won't terminate this pregnancy because of you and the family ego. What's your problem? You are my problem. You are always selfish. Can't you think of anybody else for a change? It's you I should be asking that question. What actually is your take on this issue? My take on this issue is with you, little sister. Okay? Because you are not going to bring disgrace into this family. Because if you do it, I will personally give you help. Sister, please leave me alone. Please. You better stop shedding that crocodile tears of yours. You shameless pig. What? You guys stop it. Stop it now. I will not stop it. Until I'm done with her. Ah. Shelly, you're not dressed. Am I not talking to you? My friend, look that up and get dressed. We have an appointment with the doctor. Sister, please leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Shelly! Sister, if I go to the hospital with you for this abortion, you guys will carry my cops on your head. Meaning what? Meaning I won't survive it. Sister, what's going on? Why is she still lying now? Just let her be. Sister, I don't understand what you're saying. Do you want me to tie her up? I can't, I can't drag her to the hospital. What do you want? Rose, just leave her alone, please. <laughs> You heard her. She said, let me be. You guys should let me be. Especially you. I don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. What's going on? Just let her be. Leave her alone. Ah. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The both of you should leave me alone. That is what she's trying to say. You should leave me alone. Sister. Just let her be, please. Let Yeah. 
I know. <laughs> I miss you too. What's that? <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. Mm. Yes, I agree. I yeah, I know. So are we eating out? I see it. Hey, so what am I coming? Seven? Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Let me call you back. I am. Hey. Okay. He left the baby? No, she's with the nanny. Oh, okay. So, um, who was that guy that dropped you off? Why don't you want him to come in or you don't want me to meet him? Mm, what man? Your new boyfriend, of course. I've seen him drop you at the gate at three different occasions. Oh. He's a nobody, he's just a friend. A friend? Come on, Shelly. I don't seem to know about me or the baby. Why? Though he has been pestering me. But I'm done with men. You can't be done with men. All men are not the same. To me, all men are the same. They are one hell of a mistake I will never make again in my life. Come on, Shelly. You're so wrong. Sister, please. What shall I do? Should I give him a chance, according to my sister? I don't want another outbreak. No. Not anymore. Hard to comprehend, and I know how you feel. You don't have the slightest idea of <laughs> how I feel. You will be shocked to hear about my heartbreaks. I didn't tell you guys anything about it because I didn't want to bother you guys. And plus, I felt I could handle it on my own, and I did. <laughs> my dear, men are beasts, <laughs> but you can make an angel out of a slightly good one. Look at me. Look at me. Has this guy shown you any sign of honesty? Yes. <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Give him a chance. Exactly my point. I don't want to. Why not? He's too fast to take me as a wife. And he's ready to perform the marriage rites and take me to USA. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Sister, this guy is going too fast for my life, you know. Can you imagine? He's already planning a wedding and about to take her to the USA. But that has always been our dream. So why the hesitation? I don't want him to know about the baby. Come on, baby. Girl. I just can't. Smile, Joe. <laughs> Anyways, we have a solution to your problem. Yes. What is the solution? <laughs> Sister Sandra here has offered to take care of your child since I'm already engaged. You mean? Yes. I'll take your daughter as mine. I'll give her all the love and care she would ever need. Oh my God. I don't know what to say honestly. <laughs> well, you can start by saying thank you and then you can go ahead and make the necessary arrangements and travel to the USA. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sister, thank you. <laughs> thank I'm you. so happy. I'm so... I love you, babe. I love you. Uh, Me too. Uh, Thanks. I'm so very grateful. The both of you. Yeah, You've been okay. It's okay. You've been there for me. Yeah, I know. And we're still gonna be there for you. Oh my god, look at this. So nice. Sister, hi. Hey! Okay. My husband is taking me for shopping and we're traveling to the US tomorrow. Really? Oh, that's sweet. Are you serious? Hmm. I start to become a good big girl. Hmm. By the time she gets to the US, she just not US citizen overnight. I'm telling you. Okay. As in there. <laughs> Shall don't forget us. Oh, why will I forget you guys? You're my sisters now. Abby. And sister, I deposited some amount into your bank account. Oh, no. Now I owe you guys a lot. <laughs> so it's only sister's account you're gonna deposit money in, into Abby. Uh, I beg you, jealousy movie. I beg you, hey, Jerry. You don't owe us anything. I'm sure you would have done the same thing if you were in our shoes. <laughs> that reminds me. Your husband is a very good man. Hmm? Please take good care of him. Oh, 
And I came to check on the baby, she's okay. I hope she won't inconvenience you guys at all. Inconvenience kid, happy. Mm. Mm. I've discussed it with him. Mm? And I told him that, listen, it's either he accepts your baby as my baby, or he forgets about the whole thing. Your baby, or our baby? Oh, please. Baby. It's our baby. Oh, you guys should not put over my baby. It's mm. our baby. Mm. Please. Don't worry, eh, my dear. Your baby, sorry, my baby is in safe hands. Hmm? I trust you now. You know, right, I my <laughs> Darling, I will really miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you guys too. Oh. Sweetheart. I'll miss you She's already. Okay. Oh. She's my sister too now. What's the old? I'll miss you guys. Like, ah, oh, group hug. Make sure you call every day. Every day. Oh. I will mm. now. Call every second. Every day. So. And I'm <laughs> calling you to study every I want your day. All these nice, nice, nice things. You know? I know. Good. He's back. Oh, he's back. The boss. He's back? Yes. I saw me into the quarters. Wow. You're sure he didn't see you? No. I first saw him and left before he told me. Advantage of you, please. I'm sorry. And I want it now, baby. Please come down. Oh God, I can't. I can't do this. Try and understand. I can't. I need it oh. now, baby. Stop. I need it now. No, no. Just understand. I can't do this. It looks. I mean, it means taking advantage of you, and I don't want to do it. And I need it now. I say no. It's okay. Isabel. Isabella, Auntie, tell me, how did it go? <laughs> You've been silent ever since you came in. Are you crying? It's okay. I'm sorry. It's all right, eh? All this nightmare will soon be over. It's all my fault. I should have stopped you. It's okay. It's not your fault. You never wanted me to go. <laughs> you have already promised to help us. Really? You were ready to help us escape. Really? Yes. But do you think he can be trusted? I think so. It's I okay. think so. It's all right. <laughs> wow. <I'm> so happy. <laughs> Into this time, we are going to be together. Yes. I'm doing the right thing. Come on, baby. Why are you talking like that? I'm going to miss you badly. I'm going to miss you too. But you promised that you will join me soon. That you have planned everything now. That we're going to be together. That was what you told me now. Sweetie, it's not that easy. Oh God. I wish I never lived a life of crime and, and homicide. But you promised to quit. Then baby, let's live together. Please. Sweetie, it's not that easy. See, you see, it's very easy to start a life of crime, but to quit is a different ball game. So they are going to kill me once I declare my crime-free stance. 
everything, baby. Let's live together. Please. You see that, Izzy? <sighs> see, baby. This is what we have to do under this circumstance. We have to go out, live here together, run away together. Baby, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want them to have you. Sweetie, it's okay. I'll think about it. You don't have to think about anything. Baby, please, let's run away together. Oh, I will not live here without you. I will not live here without you. I can't live here without you. We're going to live here together. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll think about it. You went to see him. Don't you think you're overdoing this? Don't you think you're seeing more of him these days? Don't you think so? I know, but I can't help it. You can't help it. Listen to me, Isabella. You would stop seeing that boy. You gave him what he wanted, and he gave us a way of escape. That's it. And the story, this deal is terminated. You will not see that boy again. Did you hear? No, I have to. I can't stop seeing him now. I love him. You love him? You love a common criminal? Isabella, listen to yourself. Is this what you want for yourself? Is this what you want for your life? Is it? How oh, I wish it is possible. Oh yes, it is possible. The only thing you have to do is to remove your mind from him. That's all. You would stop seeing that boy. You have a bright future and you will not allow a common criminal that can die any time of the day to spoil it for you or deny you that. Oh yes, you will stop seeing him. Did you hear me? Auntie, please. I wish you understood. I do not understand anything, Isabella. Just remove your mind from him. Stop it! End of story. This discussion is over. Over, I say. Are we still leaving next tomorrow? Yes. Well, he will go with us. Who? Who else? My guy, man is. Isabella, have you gone nuts or something? What is your problem? What is wrong with you? Good I don't have any problem. I'm in love with him. Isabella, what do you know about love? Tell me. I'm listening. This is infatuation. I know one when I see it. That boy is not going anywhere with us. Without him, I go nowhere. Isabella, how do you want me to tell you that you are playing with fire? With a dynamite? This is a criminal! An assassin! Don't you get it? And I'm sick and tired of all this in some place. That guy is not what you think he is. He's a kind-hearted man. Really? And you don't see that he is playing on your intelligence? Hmm? That guy showed me love and care. And I can't, I can't just shut him out like that. Either he go with us or I go nowhere.
channels right now in the driver. Tell me I sent you to here. All right? Anissa. Yes, boss. Go right now. I will. Mother, I know this might sound crazy to you, but I'm taking you to a safe place. Okay? Please, please, I beg you. I'm, I, I'm sorry if I've done anything wrong. Please. No, 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 no. Listen. The truth is, I, I don't know if I'm going to regret doing this. Okay, I mean, my mother is the greatest motivation for doing what I'm about to do right now. She, she, she died. She died a blind woman. I mean, whenever I see you, you remind me so much of my late blind mother. My boys want you dead. I don't want that for you. So I'm going to take you to a safe place and I need you to run as far as possible. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay? So let's go now. We need to go right now. Alright? We need to go. Pick up, let's go. never happen. Not while I've raised her as my own child. After all these years, I paid her fees, fed her, but come to think of it, what will I do? My friend, Sandra, what's the matter? I am in soup. <laughs> what soup? My sister, I'm about to lose everything I have worked for all these years. Okay, tell me all about it. My sister made her intention known to me. She's coming back to Nigeria. And her reason for coming is not only to take charge of the company, but also to collect the only possession I have in this life. Her daughter. My own daughter. <laughs> that serves you right. What? If you had listened to me many years back, 
you will not be caught up in the mess that you are now, Sandra. Take a good look at yourself, Sandra. Just take a proper good look at yourself. You have, you have labored so much for this, for both the industry and the girl that you raise as your daughter, only for the boat to be taken away from you, just like that. She will not succeed. I said she will not succeed. No one will take anything that rightfully belongs to me, including her. Hmm. Then, you need to act fast. My dear, what will I do now? That's why I sent for you. Eliminate your sister. I've thought about it though. But I have my hesitation. She's my kid sister, you know. What's your hesitation, Sandra? Just tell me, what is your hesitation? If you had done this earlier that I advised, you will not be cropped up in the mess that you are now. <laughs> that is why we politicians are different. Yes, remove all the opposition in order to have your way. That is the rule of the game. You need to silence your sister so that you can have your peace. Okay, um, I'll see the assassin at once. <laughs> Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Certain people will do a good job about that. Yeah. Just leave that to me. Okay. Yes. How do you see Alright. I'll take care of that. And the money is not. Ah, sister. Hi. Close, how are you? I'm fine. This why you're looking like this. Hope all is okay. I'm fine. There's no, there's no problem. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm, I'm fine. Um, there's no problem. Are you sure? Mm. Okay. Well, uh, have you heard from Shelly? Yeah, um, she's coming back home finally. Ha! Thank God. Mm. At least she'll come back and start her life. Mm. Where is Louisa? She should be upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Up. Let me see her. Okay. <laughs> Wow, Louisa, you look gorgeous. Why are you up to? Mama, we've forgotten I'm going with you and Auntie Rose to the airport to pick Auntie. And who told you I'm going to the airport to pick your aunt? Auntie Rose told me. Rose told you? Mom, please, let me go with you and Auntie Rose. Ah. Okay, um, I'm not going to the airport to pick your aunt, eh? Rose is. Okay, let me go with her then. No. Mom, please. Listen, Louisa, if you don't have anything better to do, you get to your room. I've made myself clear. Yes, Mom. Rose told her. Okay. Yes? Hello, Sister Sandra. I'll be in the next flight to Nigeria. And I'll be waiting. Why did you I can explain, please, I beg you. I curse the day you were born. To think we came out from the same room? <laughs> Move it! 